Hey DIYers and welcome to the first episode in the series I'm calling Become a Front End Developer. Let me first off apologize, I am still sick and I still am struggling with the voice. I'm going to try and talk as loud and as clear as I can and hopefully that will be enough. <clears throat> so let's dive right in. The three most important things you'll do as a front end developer is make it beautiful, make it interactive, make it accessible. That is the core, in my opinion. If you were to compare all these job postings, you would, it would run the gamut of all kinds of different things you do as a front-end developer. The core, though, are those three things. So let me hit a couple of sites real quick just to kind of show you how far you can stretch front-end development. So this is just a really simple, clean, beautiful website. It does a great job of just very simple transitions, very simple layout, and there's not a whole lot happening. So we'll take it to the next step up where you've got, you know, this nice big slider, but the real magic happens up in the header. You know, you've got this very simple but still noticeable interaction that happens when you scroll over each of the icons in the main navigation menu. So we'll take it one, another step further. So now you have this white friend to your brewery, and nothing's really happening right now. But as soon as you mouse over, it's going to start doing stuff, in theory. That just made me a liar. Maybe I need to reload it. Yes, I'm 18, or 21. So as soon as I roll over this, it starts scrolling. Now, they don't have a whole lot of interactivity happening over here, but they definitely have some cues. Then the real interactivity starts happening over here. You scroll over, and it kind of plays a slideshow. Then you scroll over here, and it plays a video. Then you scroll over here, and it plays another video. So there's a lot of really cool things happening just on hover. Now, one thing you'll notice is when you take it down to mobile, that interactivity is still there on hover, but you don't have hover on mobile, so I, I would be willing to bet that they don't have that when you're actually on a mobile device. It's just you click through and it goes to the page it's going to. So the last one that I'm going to show you is is one that kind of goes far beyond those other three in that it's extremely interactive. You've got videos playing. You can drag and see other projects he's done. You can just keep, kind of keep dragging. And it's going to show you all these different animations and videos and things like that. So, I mean, you can see how front-end development can run the gamut as far as job postings go. But the reality is all these sites have one thing in common. Or, well, three things in common. They're beautiful. They're interactive. And they're accessible. I mean, most all of them, you know, as you shrink down... It shrinks down the text so you can read it on mobile. You know, you're going to lose something. You have to lose something. I mean, it's mobile, so you're losing. You're not getting the whole video. But, you know, this one we already saw. This one breaks down and still has that nice big slider with cropped images to fit, which is done really well. And then we'll, we'll show you this one, too. And it's, you know, they're all made to be accessible from any device. So, I mean, that's the core, in my opinion, is is of what a front-end developer does, is they make them beautiful, interactive, and accessible. And, you know, there's some things, you know, people are going to mix in other things with it, and I agree, but I think it, it falls under the accessible category, and, and things like Gulp and SAS and things that help the process and make your site more efficient. For a long time, we went about things the wrong way, and we actually tried to tweak the server to make it faster to deliver the page. The problem is the server is only about 20% of the problem. Your, well, your website is the other 80. So now, and this is one of the main reasons I think front-end development is blowing up, is because people are figuring out that that 80 is going to get you a lot more bang for your buck if you can tweak it. So you tweak it with things like, you know, Gulp and SAS and uh, just a bunch of other technologies, lazy loading stuff, everything. There's so many different things we're going to cover. But 
that all comes down to efficiency, which in my opinion falls under accessibility. Your website's not accessible if it takes two minutes to load. It's just not. You know, there's other things in accessibility too. And as, as far as people with, you know, hearing it, hearing impaired, visual, visual impaired, things like that. That's another type of accessibility too. And we'll probably cover a little bit of that at some point. But it just all comes back to the core three, in my opinion. So that's what we're going to focus on in this series. We're going to do a lot of cool things. We're going to build techidiy.com from the ground up. You guys are going to get to have a hand in all the code. You can see exactly how it's built. We're going to use some fun front-end technologies to do that and a handful of other things. So check out all the videos that are coming out. I hope to see you guys back. Thank you very much, DIYers. Take care.